Okay, we're live over here at uh, Southwest Drive Custom, my friend Pete, DIY Auto School. What you're looking at, you're looking at the Volkswagen 55.5. We're painting it tonight. Uh, we got a lot of stuff we're doing. I'm going to make, uh, this going to be a little mini-series uh, painting this car. Let me get this heater turned off. All right, we got the heater turned off. So I'm painting uh, some of the little parts in here because my paint booth um, has the car inside it. We're going to go out there and take a look. We won't be able to stand out there long. And then I'm going to kind of explain to you what the fuck's going on. Okay, so we got the paint booth going strong. It's working beautiful. Um, I actually have the heater in here going on too. But uh, we're gonna stand right here. Now, I got one coat of base on it. I gotta put another base coat on it, one more coat, uh, and then see where we're at. Um, and then once that dries, I'll put one more coat. So we're gonna put three full wet coats. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're double clearing this car. That means that we are going to use some inner coat clear on. I'm gonna show you that, what's going on. Uh, but you can look by the bug, you can see the beautiful bodywork that's been done to it, the awesome bodywork. This thing's straight as a fucking arrow. And for all the situations we have, it's amazing. Uh, let me reach in here, I wanna turn my, okay, there we go, all right. Okay, so the bug is getting painted. And we got a helicopter that's like, motherfucker, that fucking thing's loud. Jeez. Okay, scared the shit out of me. Okay, um, I'm gonna hold the, okay, I'm gonna hold this like this. There we go. Okay, uh, like I said, we're kind of live here, so I'm in a hurry, and I'm not going to actually, uh, I'm not gonna get creative with the situation. This is just a live update. Um, so what we got here is we got our paint mixed up. Now, I just made a video on spray guns. And I'm going to tell everybody right now, I'm encouraging you to watch that because this spray gun theory of having 10 different spray guns to do one fucking job, it's ridiculous. All right, people are blindsided by spray gun action. Here's my number one spray gun right here. This is it. I spray primer with that. I spray epoxy primer with that. I spray base coat with that. I spray clear coat. I spray everything with this, everything. Everything. This car that you're looking at, this bike, will be painted with this gun only. All right? You need to watch that video because there's a lot of people out there who says, I need a gun for base coat. I need a gun for clear coat. I need a nozzle for this. I need a tip for that. Bullshit. One fucking gun is all you need. I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, we got the gas tank, the two rear fenders, and the hood in here. Um, and I'm getting ready to put another coat on it. So we'll get that put on there. Now, the owner requested that he wants, he wants a little bit of script going on right here. So we're gonna get that done for him. We got our buddy Steve, Sandblaster Steve out here. He's actually the tattoo artist in Moab and he's gonna put that script on there so we'll get to see that. And I was actually confused. I thought this, was actually the back of the tank. It's actually, this is actually the back of the tank here. And this is the front of the tank. So I'm glad the owner opened my eyes on that. Um, that's good. And then on the hood, uh, the owner bought this hood from a good friend of mine out there in Indiana. And the hood turned out to be awesome. It's a beautiful hood. This is black. You can see how straight it is. You see the fucking body work going on here, people. This ain't no bullshit. You see the action. All right, look, out, look at the gloss on that with one coat of paint, okay? All right, beautiful. The fenders, we had serious issues with the fenders. My friend Pete hooked them up, got them fixed, and they are in super, super good condition now. So, um, 
like I said, we're going to end this little video. This is like a little, uh, a little, little, uh, mini series. Um, I'm going to have this thing painted tonight. Now I want to put the rest of the base coat on. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you what I do to make it an exotic high end base coat, clear coat paint job. I'm going to show you step by step in this little series, but let's go ahead and focus on the spray gun action. And once again, I'm going to tell everybody out there, do not be fooled by all these YouTube videos that you see and all these people making YouTube videos of spray guns and you got to have this spray gun to do that and that spray gun to do this. It's all bullshit. It's total fucking bullshit. I bought that particular spray gun right there when I was 15 years old. I paid cash for it. It was $225. I had to paint two cars to get enough money to even buy that thing. All right. I've been using that spray gun and I actually got four or five of those, but this particular one, and I know this is the one because of that right there. All right. So I bought this spray gun when I was 15 years old and I still fucking use it to this day. You need to watch that video that I'm posting on spray gun. Sorry, I'm shaking here. I'm in a hurry. Like I said, this isn't really that professional. But what we're using on this, we're using a base coat, clear coat system. Um, I'm using base coat shop line paint. And then, of course, I'm using medium reducer right here. I got to get another one out of the cabinet. And then to finish it off, we're going to go ahead and use Matrix MS-52. And then we're going to go ahead and color sand and buff. But like I said, like I was saying, there's another step that's very, very important. If you are looking for a super high tech, awesome, clear job, and it's, it's tr almost triple the work, but it's way worth it. And what we're going to do, we're going to double clear this. and I'm going to show you the trick to doing that. But let me let you go. I got to mix up some more paint real quick. Um, yeah, I got to get another quart of paint mixed up. Um, I'm probably going to put two more coats of paint on this stuff. And then once that's done, then we'll let that dry. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the trickery of getting an awesome paint job that you're not going to fucking believe. Okay. Let me let you go and think about that spray gun action, please think about it. Get a universal spray gun and learn how to do everything with it, people. Don't waste your fucking money on three, four, five, six spray guns. It's stupid, okay? Totally, totally stupid. I'll see you in about an hour.